Teen News at 5. It started as a chase and ended in an officer-involved shooting on the Iowa State University campus. Today we're learning more about the man who died and the officer authorities say pulled the trigger. Good evening, I'm Erin Kiernan. And I'm Sonia Heitz, Susan. Thank you for joining us. An Ames police officer made the decision to use deadly force to end the chase yesterday morning. Authorities say Officer Adam McPherson fired the shots, hitting 19-year-old Tyler Comstock of Boone. Channel 13's Eric Weeder talked with Comstock's mother. Eric joins us first on 13. Sherry Comstock, Tyler's mother, says her son had been going through a lot. She says he had recently stayed in a homeless shelter and had been arrested for disorderly conduct. Now today she helps us understand what may have led Tyler to run from police. Ames police say the chase started near Beach Avenue when they pulled over a vehicle that Tyler Comstock took from his father after an argument. According to Sherry Comstock, that argument started when Tyler's father refused to buy him a pack of cigarettes at the gas station. He started punching the truck and tried breaking his window out and ripped the door, you know, back. Sherry says her 19-year-old son, a former student at Boone High School, was a bright and caring kid. But outbursts like this weren't out of the ordinary. It is scary the way that he goes into rages like that. Sherry admits Tyler was difficult to control but she's struggling to understand why police chose to chase him through campus. Iowa State students John Hope and Michael Christensen saw it happen. So I turned around because I went back to it all and then I saw this big, big white pickup, you know, going through and it just started going off into over and towards central campus. Look over and I see this truck uh, in reverse we're going really fast. In dispatcher audio obtained by the Des Moines Register, an unidentified person can be heard saying, quote, if he's that reckless coming into the college area, why don't you back off? Commander Jeff Huff said he can't comment on the audio because police didn't release it to the media. However, he defends the department's decision to do everything in their power to keep the public safe. We have to make split second decisions that other people get you know, weeks, months, and years to decide whether or not we made the right decision. Um, you know, in this case, the officer did back off a little bit, uh, but it seemed to make sense to continue um, with the lights and sirens to warn other people. Uh, his driving behavior was um, very erratic from start to finish. Sherry may never see eye to eye with police on the decision to pursue him or use deadly force to bring the chase to an end. I think that he shouldn't have been chased especially in that area, you know, with so many pedestrians. But police say it was necessary. We were afraid he was going to get loose, take off again, and, you know, possibly injure other people. Ames police have not released dash cam or any campus video of the incident, but Commander Jeff Hoff says it still has to go through the Department of Criminal Investigation and District Attorney's Office. He says that video shows the danger police and the public are in, were in and why it was necessary to stop their suspect as quickly as possible. Yeah, we'll continue to follow this one. Thanks for the update, Eric. 861. Ames, I have the vehicles not stopping. We are westbound on South 4th. 
was coming up the beach. And on South Fourth Beach. We are northbound on beach from South Fourth. Near the campanile at 1029. 